Maayong adlaw, kanyang tanan. This is Carlo Gumaba. Tuning in. Parts of the sewing machine and its function. Mrs. Rizaline Alponte and Mr. Carlo Gumaba. So, let me give you the meaning of the definition of the sewing machine. So, sewing machine is an activity that is often done to connect fabrics or other materials that can be joined using threads. In general, sewing techniques can be done manually using only hand needle and thread. So, sa atong generation karon, na nadyo sewing machine to, provides sa ato ang cloth o provides sa ato ang mga mosod po, mapalita dito sa merkado gi, pahigin na siya dako kay taba ang mga manahiay sa ato ang tanah, di ba? So however, sewing by hand is usually only for repairing torn clothes to connect clothes or for into new items such as cloths curtains, sheds tablecloth and etc. It is necessary to use a sewing machine. Sewing machine itself it can mechanical equipment used for sewing. So sewing machines have parts that have a specific function for the sewing process. For more details, see the explanation below. First, we have a presser bar. So the presser bar is a removable mechanical device that allows the tailor to control the up and down movement of the presser foot. Although this sewing machine part is one of the smallest components, it performs a very important function. Two, pressure regulating top screw. It can also be a called a pressure regulating screw which functions to control the movement of the presser foot. While sewing is in progress, it is important that the presser foot is at the bottom. After that when you are done sewing and removing the fabric, you can lift those screws to make the presser lift. The third, thread take up lever. This part of the sewing machine is known as the thread lift lever. This lever serves as a reference to see the position of the needle and up and down the top thread on the sewing machine. The fourth, the arm. This part is called the arm or body on the sewing machine, curved like a sleeve that can be removed and makes it easier for tailors during the sewing process. The fifth, the spool pin. A spool pin is a thread holder that serves to put thread spools during the sewing process. So, the sixth is the balance wheel. Balance wheel or hand wheel is a sewing machine that is shaped like a wheel. Located next to the sewing machine are which serves as a tool to start and stop the sewing machine. In addition, this section is usually also used to turn or run the sewing machine manually. The seventh, the bobbin winder fraction ring. The part of the sewing machine called the bobbin winder fraction ring on the bobbin winder function as a thread filler at the bottom. The eighth, the bobbin winder. The bobbin winder is a small spool wheel that serves to fill the yarn into the bobbin. The ninth, a stitch regulator. The part of the sewing machine called the stitch regulator or a lock serves to adjust the width of the stitches. And the tenth, the face plate. Face plate is a part that serves as a cover plate on a sewing machine. The eleventh, the thread take up spring. This part is a spring that is used to adjust the tension of sewing machine. The twelfth, the presser bar lifter. This section is shaped like a small hook 
located on the base or the back of the sewing machine serves to lift the press road used for attaching and removing needles on the string fabrics. The 13 is lock thread regulator. This section has a function to control the tension of the thread during the sewing process. So when the thread used for sewing starts to loosen, then this section will work. Tension spring is the 14th, has a function that serves to create tension on thread so that the stitches are knit. So the 15th, tension desk. So tension desks are parts of the sewing machine that affect the stitching of the fabric. Its function is to adjust the tension on the thread. The 16, the needle clump. Needle clump or needle fixing, fixing screw as the name in place or implies the section is a place for the lower needle and strengthens the needle during the sewing process. With next, the 17 is the needle bar. This section is useful for the holding of the needle on the sewing machine. The 18, the bracer foot screw. Bracer foot screw is a sewing shoe that presses and moves the fabric evenly on the machine during the sewing process. The 19 is a screw. A screw is a component on the sewing that serves to, to tighten the threads using during the sewing process. 21 is the feed dogs. The feed dogs are also known as a sewing machine feet. This section is located just below the shoe of the sewing machine, serves to pull and push the fabric being sewn. The 22 is the oscillating hook slide. Oscillating hook slide is a part of the sewing machine that is a hook and serves to hook the upper and lower threads. The 23 is the throat plate located above the bead plate serves to place the fabric to be sewn during the sewing process. And the 24, the last, is the bead plate. Bead plate is the bottom of the sewing machine and is useful for supporting all other components including the arm on the sewing machine. So, the next video is makita ni mo ang tanan na parts and functions sa sewing machine. So, tanawa lang ninyo and dira sila makita. Again, this is Carlo Gumapa, your instructor for today for trust making uh, first semester for school year 2021-2022. Say